Hi, I'm Jeff Pulliam, and welcome to Video Blast number 14. We're going to be talking about relationships, and we're going to consider the sample project of building a child's playhouse. And as we look at our work breakdown structure, and as we speak to relationships, there's two relationships that I want you to understand. One is what we call the finish-start relationship, and the second one is a start-to-start -start relationship. One, the finish-to-start relationship, is a hard logic relationship, and that is, is that one action, one activity has to be completely, 100% complete before the succeeding activity after it can begin. That is a finish-start relationship. And so, what's an example of a finish-start relationship with the playhouse? Well, as we focused on the summary task of constructing the playhouse, we had work packages of finish, exterior, interior finish, of framing of the house, and of acquiring lumber. And so let's look at the work package of the framing of the house and the activities of build floor, build walls, and build roof deck. Well, hard logic would be that we can't build the walls or frame the walls on top of the floor until we could actually build the floor. So we need a floor before we can build walls. And so we would have a hard logic relationship of build floor first before we could build the walls. That is a finish to start relationship and that is a what we call a hard logic relationship. So what is a soft logic relationship? Well one of the soft logic relationships that you use often is what we call a start to start relationship and that would look something like this. We would start an activity and as this activity would start, we would start a second activity at the same time. So it would be a start to start relationship. And as you can see here, it's a concurrent action of activities. That is, once one activity would start, the other activity would start. And so when we look at our example of the playhouse, let's take let's take the finished exterior interior work package. And as you recall, we've got the need to lay carpet within that playhouse to paint the exterior and the interior of the playhouse. And of course, we need to install the doors and the windows for the playhouse. What would be a relationship that we could show as a start-to-start -start relationship, which is more of a soft logic rather than a hard logic relationship? Well, conceivably, we could start to paint the exterior of the playhouse on one end of the playhouse, and we could then on the other end, begin to install, install the doors and the windows. And so, one, two activities occurring at the same time, but realize, too, that they're on opposite ends of the structure. So, we could conceivably start one and start the other and speed up the project. That is, instead of having a hard logic between them, we could have them happening at the same time. And as, of course, they happen at the same time, the work is being doubled up and we are getting things done in a faster time frame than if we were to use the hard logic of a finish start relationship. So understand that we gain speed and we can accelerate the project with a start to start relationship. So that's video blast number 14. I wanted to share with you these two important relationships, the finish to start and the start to start. And recognize that the finish to start is a hard logic relationship that the prior preceding activity must be 100% complete before the succeeding activity can begin. And when we think about a soft logic relationship, which is a start to start relationship, well, that's more strategic. That is, the strategy is we want to accelerate the speed of the project and get work done and get project work done faster. And so we can consider soft logic start to start relationships as we want to engage the work and have more activities at the same time but also at the same time speed up the project. So understand those relationships. I enjoyed sharing with you Video Blast number 14. I will see you at the next Video Blast.